Okay, so now that we know what valence electrons are, and remember valence electrons are those electrons on the outer shell, we can look at a concept we call a Lewis dot structure. Okay, and so with Lewis dot structures, it's kind of a shorthand method. So remember with the Bohr model, we would have our number of protons and our number of neutrons, and then we would put our electrons on our different rings. Well, with the Lewis dot structure, we can quickly and easily show just the number of valence electrons that are found. So if I'm looking at the element, and so let me draw a little box real quickly. So let's say we're doing boron. So the symbol is B and the number is, the atomic number is five and the atomic mass is 10.81, 10.81, okay? So we know from this, we can figure out protons, neutrons, electrons. But the other thing is, when I look at my periodic table and I go up, here's boron on the periodic table, so I'm gonna go up to the top of it and it is in 3A. And so remember that number for the A's tells you how many valence electrons there are. So to do a Lewis dot structure, it's really easy. I'm gonna write the symbol for that element and then I'm going to start putting the valence electrons. One, two, three. Notice I put one on each side of the letter until I run out of valence electrons. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? So then, if we look at one of the other elements, so let's say we're going to do chlorine. Okay, so I've got my box CL for chlorine and it's 17 and it is 35.45. And I'm looking at my periodic table, here's chlorine. So I go up and it's 7A, okay? So if I know it's 7A to do the Lewis structure, the Lewis dot, I'm gonna write the symbol. And since it's in 7A, I know I have seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four. I've gone around each side. And then five, six, Seven. You notice you do not pair them up until you have filled all four sides the first time. So you're always gonna go around in circles like that. Let's do another one. Okay, so we will do oxygen, because we like oxygen. Oxygen's really important. So oxygen, symbol is O, atomic number is eight, and it's 15.999, that's why we round it to 16 when we're figuring out our neutrons. And we look at the periodic table, here's our oxygen and look up, so it is 6A. Okay, so to draw the Lewis dot, here's our oxygen, and we need six electrons because it's 6A, valence electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? So hopefully you understand how to do Lewis structures, Lewis dot structures with our valence electrons.